We all know that our parents are the most influential people in our lives, but our grandparents might just be a close second. And this was no less true of Jesus' very own grandparents. Today, the Armenian Church celebrates the lives of Jesus' grandparents, Surpovagim Yev Anna, Saint Joachim, and Anna. And although they don't appear directly in Scripture, we know through the Church Universal and through Holy Tradition about their lives and about the importance of their role in salvation history. So if their story isn't recounted in Scripture, where do we find their story? Well, actually, their story is contained in a book called the Proto-Evangelion of James. And Proto-Evangelion simply means the events that took place before the Gospel proper. In Armenian, this book is known as the Kirk de Rautian Christosi, the infancy narrative of Christ. And this book recounts the story of St. Joachim and Anna and how for many years they tried to conceive a child but were unsuccessful. And even though they were God-fearing and they gave of their time, talents, and treasures to the temple and to the worship of God, the religious community around them said that they could not possibly be blessed by God if they were unable to conceive a child. So Anna, the mother of Mary, prays to God, and she says the following, Oh God of our fathers, bless me, and hear my prayer as you blessed the womb of Sarah and gave her a son Isaac. And God blessed the couple with a daughter, who we know as Mary, who would one day in her very own womb carry the Savior of the world, Jesus the Christ. Joachim and Anna brought Mary when she was young to the Jewish priests to be blessed by them. And the Jewish priests prayed and blessed Mary, saying, Ornyaz manugas zeis. Bless this child and give her an everlasting name to be named in all generations. And Mary herself repeats this very own blessing in the Gospel of Luke when she says that from here on all generations will call me blessed. This theme of childlessness of being scorned by fellow believers, of being perhaps seemingly forgotten by God, is found all throughout Holy Scripture and Holy Tradition. We see this in the lives of Abraham and Sarah, of Zechariah and Elizabeth, and of course, St. Joachim and Anna. But this is not just some history or some theology lesson for us to learn. Joachim and Anna's story is our story. When we do all that we think we can do for God, when we try to follow his commandments and his laws, when we attend Badarak every Sunday, when we give of our time, talents, and treasures, we can sometimes feel perhaps not as blessed as we should be. And perhaps we even feel cursed by God, whether that be through physical ailment, whether that be emotionally, whether that be spiritually, financially, or otherwise. But just like with Joachim and Anna, that when God blessed them at an old age with a child, something that was seemingly impossible, God too can bless us, not perhaps when we want it, but perhaps at a later time, at a more perfect time for his glory and the upbuilding of his church. God is never done with us. And in fact, what may now seem as a curse to us may be, used, be being used by God as a blessing in years and decades, perhaps later. O Lord our God, through the prayers of Saints Joachim and Anna, Hear us, 
Listen to us and take care of us. Amen.